Here we are at outfit number one. Um, this is an outfit I recently wore on my Instagram. Um, I really, really like this outfit a lot because I think it just is super easy and it looks like you put a lot of effort into your outfit, but you really didn't. So um, my top here is from Zaffle. Um, it's just a crop top. Um, in the photo, I am wearing the other leggings, but I decided to wear these ones because these ones are a lot more like uh, stretchy. These ones are more comfortable than the Zara ones for sure. Um, my sneakers are the Nike Air Force Jester X Double X. Um, this denim jacket is the um, trucker or boyfriend jacket. Not exactly sure, but I'll leave a link to this down below in the description. Um, but this jacket here is by Levi's. My necklace is by Most Coveted. It's a UK Etsy shop. And then this one here is by um, CNC, the um, Tony Sevdalis' brand. These rings on this hand are from Korea at a boutique. And then these rings are from um, Shop CY. You, you can get 15% off with the code in my seams 15 which I wear these ones every single day. Um, okay, so that's all my jewelry. Oh, and earrings are from Adri. You guys have seen that in pre pretty much all my recent videos. Um, but yeah, this is the first outfit. I really love this outfit a lot. It's super easy. It, I would wear it a little off the shoulder. Here's what it looks like with both shoulders on it is a little oversized and a little bit boxy of a fit but um, if you like that kind of look of just pulling it off the shoulder I'd recommend doing that um, these leggings are definitely super comfortable like I could I could literally do squats in these they're really really flexible they don't feel tight at all so I really love these um, but yeah this is the first outfit what do you guys think so for outfit number two, I wanted to go for something really casual, really all black because honestly there are a lot of days where I just want to wear all black. I think it's slimming and I just feel like I look the best and most put together like that. So um, I feel like normally on my channel you guys don't really see me in this kind of an element ever, like in this kind of an outfit. Um, but I'm just wearing the same, um, I'm gonna call these ones the casual leggings because, um, yeah, these ones are just like stretchy and then the Zara ones are a little bit more stiff. But I'm wearing my, um, 70s Chuck Taylor Converse and then the stretchy leggings and then, um, this Zara Bomber from like a while back actually. And then this hoodie, um, I actually sold for a fundraiser I was doing and, um, a couple of you guys actually purchased it. So, um, that's the hoodie I I'm wearing this is definitely a really cool like airport outfit if you guys travel a lot this is a good outfit because you're layering the sweater so you're gonna be super warm with these you just have to be careful of like getting a camel toe situation I would just kind of keep that in mind when you're wearing leather do you guys like this look this I'm gonna go from I think I'm gonna go from most casual to formal but um, I think this is a really casual look super easy to wear this is outfit number two so here is the next look with my casual leggings my stretchy pants um, I just threw my hair up in like this clip um, I'm wearing this really like old Zara white t-shirt um, I love these white t-shirts that Zara does this was like seven or not eight dollars or something I'll leave the exact link down below um, I didn't tie a knot because I find that tying knots really stretch my clothes sometimes so I actually just tied a hair tie around it made it like a little bun situation um, and then same jewelry this blazer here is by go Jane I love this boyfriend style it's it's just like super cute it ties the whole look together we've got the stretchy leggings on and then I just threw I just threw these slides on from forever 21 that you guys saw in my $50 forever 21 outfit challenge now I feel like this outfit would have been perfect for me while I was in college so I worked in the business department like this is such an effortless look and I feel like the blazer just ties everything together because there are so many days when you're in college where you want to wear leggings but like you just don't want to look like like you really just straight up rolled out of bed which was me most of the time um, and I feel like regardless of where you're, whether you're feeling actually good this outfit just portrays to the rest of the world that you are feeling good and that you have your life together um, I really like throwing up my hair like this too like it's been two days so I'm on second day hair and I just 
threw it up in a clip, which is typically what I do. But let me show you guys what the outfit looks like without the blazers. This is the outfit without the blazer, and doesn't it just look a lot more like plain Jane, you know? Like, it's just kind of whatever, but then with the blazer on, it looks really good. I'm gonna throw it back on one sec. So again, the blazer is back on. Again, I just feel like a blazer, it ties the whole look together, like I said, and no one would ever know that you wore the shirt that you went to bed in and a pair of faux leather leggings. So this is outfit number three. These are my kind of favorite outfits that I feel like most myself in. Um, we've got really neutral tones in this outfit. We are switching gears to um, the other leggings which are more like glammed up because they've got this stitching going all the way down the front of the leg. I don't know if you guys can see that but these ones here are from Zara. The fit is a little bit different. They don't look like you know leggings. These ones look like dress pants actually. Um, these are in a size medium and I did find them on the website so I'll leave a link down below. Um, I'm just wearing the Nine West heels that you guys saw in my silk outfits video, the silk outfit ideas. Um, and then this, this trench coat here is by Zara as well. This is like years and years old. I really feel like this beige color just ties the whole look together. Honestly, two things. Number one, these silk shirts are so amazing. The silk shirt is by Lily silk. I did a full video about um, the silk shirt ideas and this literally is the best fitting silk shirt. I've washed it once with my hands and they have washed beautifully. It feels so good um, and I'm just I just love this silk shirt so much. So if you're a size like 32 triple D or 34 double D in your cup um, and you're looking for a good silk shirt, cause sometimes like they open up, you know, um, I would recommend this one. It just, it looks amazing. Can't say enough good things about it. So definitely check out Lily Silk. I love them so much. And this is definitely like Meghan Markle vibes. A lot of you guys comment about Meghan Markle and similar style. I plan on doing a Meghan Markle styled video and when I do this is definitely going to be an outfit that I put in that video as well. So I don't know. I just love this look so much. This is outfit number four, but let's move on to the next one. Here is outfit number five. I love this look a lot. Um, I always try really hard to make sure that my outfits don't look similar because I think I wear a lot of similar tones and it can all kind of start to look the same. Um, so I always try to make them fun and in an outfit like this where the color palette is incredibly neutral, I like to play it up with a pair of fun heels and I just feel like this outfit is a a lot of fun like it's just so much fun like it's super comfortable for me and I feel really confident in myself um, this top here is by Reformation and Reformation is really expensive I do not I wouldn't say I don't, don't recommend it, but it is really pricey. I love this top a lot, but I don't think I'll shop on their site for a while because it's pretty expensive. This top was like 70 bucks. Um, and then this bag is the Louis Vuitton Ava. Um, I just did it in the belt bag style that I do. And then leggings are Zara, and then heels are the Amala style by Nine West. They're three and a half inches. I could walk a mile in these. I love them so much. What do you guys think about this outfit? I think this is definitely one that when I look at it and I keep looking at it, I feel like I love it more and more. <laughs> I wanted to try a like leather on leather look and this is what I came up with. I felt like I needed to break up the black colors by wearing a white top so I just threw on a basic white shirt underneath that you guys saw earlier in the video um, and then I threw this like cute little beret moment. I normally don't wear like hats to be honest like all the time but I love little berets and I feel like this would be a really cute like this is really cute accessory um, for the outfit in my opinion like it doesn't make it feel so serious you know especially when you're playing with leather on leather I think it can feel like whoa pump the brakes that's a lot um, but then when you throw this on it just feels like you pulled it back it's fun you're keeping it casual you're keeping it light um, and then I'm wearing this leather jacket from Zara if you guys have been watching my channel for years you would know that I've had this for like over four years I think to be honest and it's just held up really well and then just wearing the Zara leather leggings again um, and then I'm just wearing the Tatiana pashmina um, 
high heels. Now, of course, you can always change out the shoes, but I felt like to give it a little girly twist, I would um, wear the high heels and like it kind of pulls the whole look together. Um, so yeah, I really like how this look turned out. I was surprised by it, to be honest, because um, I think it's super edgy, but, but again, it's a lot of fun. So um, that is the last outfit.